Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I never thought I'd be saying that. Um, yeah, so I've decided to carry on with my YouTube channel. Um, it was a bit of an up and down decision. I was really torn whether I should do it or not. But my first videos I did got such a lovely response from you guys. It really made my day and I thought, well, let's try. Let's just see how it goes. So I thought... So that you guys can get to know me, I do a little bit of a Disney question and answer sort of thing. But before we do that, I'm just going to give you a little a bit of like background information, <laughs> just so you guys can get to know me a bit more. So my name is Hannah, in case you didn't know before. I am 20 years old, soon to be 21 in May. Um, I am originally from South Wales, even though I've realised that my accent doesn't really get picked up on camera. <laughs> so I am Welsh, even if I don't sound it. Um, but I have recently moved to south east of England. Um, I won't tell you where specifically. <laughs> um, I am a full-time biochemistry student at a university and I also have a part-time job in retail and it is an amazing job. I won't say where it is, it's not the Disney store, but I do have an, an amazing part-time job as well. And now the only other thing is that in response to my Disneyland haul I had a few questions about my fiance and who he was and things like that so I've had a word with him he doesn't mind me saying anything about him <laughs> so my fiance's name is Chris we've been together three and a half years now and um, we met when we were about five <laughs> something like that so we met when we were really really young and we both live together here so the final thing background wise is my social media accounts now I only have two for my Disney things, I've got my YouTube channel which you're on right now um, and I've also got my Instagram. Now my Instagram is Disney in Spring, I'll link it in the description box but that my Instagram I update almost every day or every other day um, and I constantly put things on my story and things so you get to know me a little bit more and follow me around. I do put lots of like polls up just so you guys can vote on what video you want so I make sure that you lot have a say in what I do on YouTube and things like that. So please go and follow me there if you want to keep updated with everything that I do. Now let's get on to Disney. So I compiled 20 questions together and they're sort of a mixture like from the internet and things that I've wrote myself and things like that so they're a bit all over the shop. So question one is what is your favourite Disney film? Now, if you've watched my Disneyland Paris haul, you know it is Alice in Wonderland. That is my all-time favourite film. I just love how bizarre it is. I absolutely love the quirkiness. I love the quirk of the Cheshire Cat. I love just how totally insane it is. <laughs> and it's very similar to me. I am very quirky. My personality is very quirky and a bit bizarre. So I really connect with that film and I really love it. Second question is, who is your favourite Disney princess? My favourite Disney princess is Ariel. Um, I really, I just, from a young age, I've loved The Little Mermaid. I don't know whether it's because she was a mermaid or what it was, but I really do love it. And it's one of the very few films where I love the sequel as well. I love um, Little Mermaid 2. And I also love Ariel's beginning. I just love her throughout. So she is my favourite Disney princess. My, oh, question number three is my favourite Disney villain. Oh, <laughs> now this is quite a hard question because I don't know. Um, I really love Ursula. I don't know whether that's because the Little Mermaid and Ursula just pair together. But I do love her. I think she's fab. Um... I think the other villain that would compare with her would be Maleficent um, and it's not even because of Sleeping Beauty in the film I just have grown to really like Maleficent <laughs> in some strange way <laughs> so yeah either Ursula or Maleficent would be my ooh, would be my favourite villains <laughs> it's really cool isn't it? so my favourite Disney sidekick of course, this one is very easy, I can answer that one no problem, and that is Pascal. I absolutely love how sassy he is. For a little chameleon with no lines, he is so sassy and I absolutely adore him. 
and I love the way that he looks out for Rapunzel and is always looking after her and I think it's just really really lovely so he is my favourite little sidekick so number five your favourite Disney song this is another hard one um, I really like A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes from Cinderella um, I'll tell you more about why I like that later on um, but favourite Disney song I think it's At Last I See The Light by Tangled I, re I really love that one um, to be fair I love Tangled as a movie as well so that kind of might be a reason why but I think that's my favourite Disney song At Last I See The Light so number six is parks that you have visited I have only visited one <laughs> I have only visited one Disney park and that is Disneyland Paris um, I've been there twice now. I went four years ago with my school and Chris and I went just recently, about a month ago. Um, we are actually looking into getting annual passes for Disneyland Paris as um, it's not that far away. We can just get on a plane and that takes us an hour to get there and it's really easy to get to. So we are looking at that. So hopefully you never know what videos might come out of that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just Disneyland Paris. Question number seven is parks you want to visit the most. Okay, so I want to visit them all. <laughs> just putting that out there. But the, there's two. But one we are in the process of booking right now. And that is Walt Disney World. So we are planning to go there for our honeymoon. And we are going to book this in the next two months or so. So we're not getting married until 2020, so it won't be until then, so don't get too excited about that right now. But because I think we're already going to book that and we're going to go, the next park that I really want to visit is Tokyo Disneyland. I've watched so many vlogs from so many different people um, and all things like that. I just think it looks so cool. And their merchandise is amazing. Like they've got so many Alice and Wonderland things. I think I'm going to come back with four suitcases if I ever went. Like, I don't think I could do it in just one suitcase. You could even get the little oysters and little soft, cuddly toy things. And oh, gosh. So I really want to go to Tokyo Disneyland. I think that would be my main Disney goal. Um, so number eight is the most underrated Disney film. Now, this, I just want to put a little disclaimer thing out there that this is just what I think. So... If you have a different opinion, then that is great. Please comment it down below as well. We can have a little discussion and things. But my most... What I think is the most underrated Disney film... I think is Atlantis. I was very torn between Treasure Planet and Atlantis. But... Because they're two films I absolutely love and you never see anything to do with them. However, Treasure Planet they did bring out a set of plushes and I'm currently in the middle of trying to get them all I have got, I've only got two but when I was looking for Atlantis um, like merchandise and things all you could find was the plastic figures and I couldn't find anything else so in my view then Atlantis is the most underrated Disney film, it is amazing and the rides that Disneyland could do with that, they're unbelievable in fact same with Treasure Planet as well so those two, but Atlantis a little bit more, in my opinion, most underrated. So number nine is what Disney things do you collect? So I collect quite a range of things. Um, I'm one of those that if I pop into the Disney store and if I like something and I'm, and I'm able to buy it, then I will just buy it, you know, no matter what it is. But there are a few things that I specifically collect a lot of. Um, that is mugs. So I collect a lot of Disney mugs, Disney store ones and the Disney park ones. Um, I collect Disney Jim Shaw traditions. We've recently just had to, I don't think you could see it, but we've recently just had to buy a glass cabinet to keep them all in because <laughs> my collection is getting quite big now. So um, I say quite big, I'm sure it's quite small to a lot of you, but you know. Um, so we've just had to buy a cabinet for those. And the final thing are the plushes. Um, I have a lot of plushes. Um, I don't have many in this house though. Um, they're all stored at my mum. So when we move into a bigger place, then they'll all come over here with me. But I do collect, since I was younger, this one is, I've collected a lot of Disney 
lashes and I do miss the fact that they're not stamped anymore. Ooh, a bit of a dodgy topic but I do miss the fact that the Disney store don't do the little stamp on them anymore. I think that was just a really nice touch and it made them seem like extremely authentic and things like that. But yes, I do collect those three things. Number 10, what is your favourite Disney park ride? So as I've only been to Disneyland Paris, I can only talk about the rides there. But my favourite ride there was the Tower of Terror. I love that ride. Um, I was really nervous when they were on about shutting rides down that that was going to be one of them. So when we went um, last month, that was the first thing I went on because I was like, I don't want them to shut it before I go. <laughs> so I have to say, in all of Disneyland Paris, that is my favourite ride. I don't know why, I just, I really love it. <laughs> um, number, where are we? Number 11. The film that was released around the time you were born. So I was born in 1997 and that was the exact same year that Hercules was released. Um, however, I'm not a big fan of Hercules. It's, um, I'll watch it and it's an okay Disney film. However, I don't love it, I'm not obsessed with it. I don't actually own any Hercules merchandise or anything either. So I think it's just one of those films that I don't mind watching but I'm not in love with it. So number 12, the film you dislike the most. Oh, touchy subject. <laughs> um, so as with any sort of thing, there will be things that you don't like. The film I dislike the most is actually a Disney Pixar film and that is, oh please don't hate me, Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> I really did not enjoy that film at all. Um, no, it just wasn't my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Um, however, the advert for the Wreck-It Ralph 2 that's coming out soon, I actually quite liked. So I will go see it when it comes out in the cinema and hope that it changes my opinion on Wreck-It Ralph. Well, I hope. <laughs> but that is the, the Disney film, well, Disney Pixar film, that I dislike the most. I'm sorry, guys, if you really love it. It's just not my thing. <laughs> um... So, question 13, your favourite character out of the Fab Five, even though I class it as six. So, you've got, for me, the original OG Disney characters are Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy and Pluto. And out of those, my favourite has to be Donald Duck. I really love him, and I don't know why, but when he gets really annoyed and frustrated and has a big to-do... I love that. <laughs> and I'm like, if I could take my anger out like that, I would. <laughs> so yeah, Donald Duck is my favourite character of the original crew. Number 14 is favourite Disney quote. Now I know I'm going to end up quoting this wrong, I can just see it happening. <laughs> but my favourite quote is from Winnie the Pooh. I knew I'd get it wrong. So my favourite quote from Winnie the Pooh is... If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day so that I never have to live a day without you. I really love that quote. It just, it brings a slight tear to my eye, but I really do like it. So that is my favourite Disney quote. So question 15, moving on, is an unforgettable Disney moment that you have had. Um, it's a really hard one, but I think when we went to Paris, Disneyland Paris last month and I watched the Illuminations um, parade, uh, show at the end the, as the fireworks were going on and as Mickey was floating up the castle they played the um, A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes and that, as well as I said previously um, it really just got to me and I started crying <laughs> and it was a really emotional time and I was really happy that I was, it was happy tears but I just it was an unforgettable moment and then when we watched it the second day I cried again and it really got to me and I really loved that moment and that really is the most unforgettable Disney thing I've ever had so yeah definitely that so we're nearly there oh I've got a very numb leg so question 16 film you didn't like as a child but you do now um There wasn't a lot of films that I didn't like as a child Disney-wise. I liked quite, I liked almost all of them. Um, 
and most films, if I didn't like them then, I don't like them now. However, one that stands out is The Incredibles. <laughs> I really didn't like that film when I was little. I really didn't, I couldn't care less about superheroes, I wanted to be a princess. <laughs> um, however now, <laughs> um, Chris and I recently rewatched it, um, I haven't watched it for years, we rewatched it, and it's a really good film, I really enjoyed it, so I don't know why when I was little I didn't like it, I've just been picky, but I really like it now, so that's one of them. So question 17, favourite iconic moment from a Disney film? So that again has to be from Tangles, Tangles coming up a lot. Um, and that is when they're on the boat and they're releasing the lanterns. I just, I think it's so pretty. It's such a pretty scene. It's so lovely and I really want to get, I've seen, I can't remember I've seen it, but you can get a canvas of um, Rapunzel and Flynn in the boat with the, holding the lanterns and I think that would look great in here. Even if Chris doesn't like Tangled, well actually I don't know if he does or not, but either way it's going to look great in here when I find it. <laughs> Um, 18, favourite sequel? Um, okay, I have three. Sorry if it said one, but I have three. So the first one I mentioned earlier is Little Mermaid 2. I absolutely love that one. And I love Melody as well, and that, I really like that film. The second sequel uh -huh, um, is Peter Pan Return to Neverland. I don't know why, but I just really love that film. I really do, and it's set during the war, and I, I really like it. I really like that film. And then the third sequel that I love is the Mulan sequel, where they're trying to take the three, prin uh, three princesses. I really like that one as well. So those three. Can't choose out of them, but those three. So 19 is Favourite Disney Animal. got to admit I think it's Sebastian. <laughs> I love that crab. Oh, I really do. I think he's great. <laughs> um, I really like just how he he looks after Ariel and he's a really good friend to her but still um, is sort of like trying to be good with King Triton and trying to get on Ariel's side and it's like torn between. I really I just really like Sebastian, bless him. So he's my favourite animal. Um, and then number 20, the final question is, character you really want to meet? Now, I have only ever met one Disney character going to a Disney park, and that is Mickey Mouse. So the character that I would want to meet, if I could, if I could meet any, I don't know if this is if I could meet any character, or ones that are already in the park, I'm not sure. Um, ones that are already in the park, I would love to meet Ariel. That would be a really lovely one. Um, characters that aren't in the park that I would love to meet if they came to the park yep that'll do um would be Yzma from Prince New Groove I really would like to meet her um or oh I don't know hmm. or maybe just to be fair anyone from Treasure Planet or Atlantis, any of those would be great because I've never seen them in the park. <laughs> so it'd be really great for them to bring those in and meet them. And I have heard as well, um, on the 2nd of June, Disneyland Paris are having a fan days, a fan days or something like that. It's like an exclusive event that you can get tickets to, which I'm really hoping that we can go to. I'm really, really, fingers crossed that we can go. Um, and you get to meet loads of new characters and things. So like, Yzma's going to be there, so that would be a lovely one. Um, and there's rumours that they are having characters from Atlantis and Treasure Planet and that would make my day. I think I'd swim across the channel if I could to try and get there. <laughs> I would absolutely love to meet those. So yeah. So that concludes my 20 Disney questions. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something so that you could get to know me a bit more and that I wasn't just someone that you watched and didn't really know anything about. So I really hope that this helped you and that you enjoyed it. Um, so that's everything for me now. Um, as always, I always welcome you guys to leave me um, comments below, tell me what videos you want to see and I will try and get them done. I have a few ideas for a few videos that will go up over the next month. Um, I don't have a schedule for when videos go up. 
I'm just going to try and do it every two weeks or every week depending on you know how things are I do have uni exams soon so that might that might throw things up in the air a little but um, if you want updates of when videos are going to go up then I do suggest you follow my Instagram if you can um, only everything will be go will be said on there when it's going to go up online so yeah I shall see you guys soon I hope you all have a lovely day and catch you in a bit bye